Hey, hey everyone. So recently, some of you may have seen in some videos I was filming, I had wristbands on, right? Uh, I've been going to a number of places that use them for access control. They use them for monitoring of different conditions, of different uh, privileges and so forth, what you can and can't get at a conference or an event. And I hate these. I mean, I understand the principle involved, right? I understand that you've got to you know, not make people present a badge or an ID every time they're walking around a facility, especially if things are comped and you're dealing with meals and food service or bar and you're in a pool. But I don't like the fact that you have to just wear them for days sometimes. I was getting into one place and I said, okay, they snapped it on. I went, okay, how long do I wear this? They said, for the duration of your time here. They snapped at me and I went, oh my God. Uh, they're just very uncomfortable. I don't like it. So I started thinking to myself in the hotel, I was trying to slide it around and pull it off and there's the dental floss trick. It wasn't really happening. And I was like, geez, what I really wish I had were more of these little snaps because if I just cut it off, ripped it off with you know a, one of my multi-tool pliers or something, I'd be, all right, I could, I could just replace the snap uh, every night, you know, I put it, put it on, put it off. That would be great, but damn, I, I'm looking, I'm thinking, nothing I had with me would work. I didn't want to tape it. Uh, in the end, I was like, well, maybe I can source something on the internet that would be a pretty good, you know, uh, duplicate of these, of these little security snaps, but I couldn't think what that would be. And then I came up with an answer. The snaps that are already on the frickin' wristband. You get them in, in sheets, you can get wristbands like this. So before they've ever been snapped onto a person, you can easily pop these snaps off you can just make yourself an archive of them, right? So keep them around, you know, in my travel bag in the future. Well, there we go. And then I got, then I've just got a lot of options. The thing is, how do you then get this off in a way that doesn't destroy the wristband in the process if you're going to snap it back on? Well, enter little end snip pliers, just like these kind of nail remover snippers. If you pop these open wide enough, I did some experimenting, and sure as shooting, you can get kind of right under there, give it a snap. Now, will this give it, will this give it a little bit of a, of a crunch? Maybe a tiny bit, but that gets masked the moment you put the next snap right back on. So that'll absolutely work. However, maybe you don't want to roll around with additional tools and things from Amazon. I mean, I'll, I'll link these down below. They were about the smallest one I could find that would, in theory, fit around all these snaps. But if you don't want to do that, you've got another option. There you go. Look in your hygiene kit, right? Dangerous terrorists can't get on the airplane with your nail clippers post 9-11 back for a while. Remember when that was? Well, yeah, if you want to, you can just kind of take a series of nips around the one of these little snap clasps. Enough to free it up without, again, without really destroying the band underneath. Now, will this take a little more finagling? Maybe but not a ton. There we go. Get that off, get that off. And in theory, of course, your wristband would still be in one piece when you're doing all of this. So here you are in your hotel room for the night. You've done all your open bar work and meetings and everything else for the day. You say, all right, I really don't want this damn thing on my wrist anymore. Come at it with your nail nippers. Take as many bites as you need at that apple. And once you're at about this point, pop apart, pop apart carefully, carefully, or carefuling, carefuling. And there, now does that look particularly awful? Not unless somebody's getting right up on you. No one's doing, no one's doing forensics, I think, at your, your beach club resort or wherever the heck they're using these kind of things. So if you're like me, if you have particularly, uh, you know, sensitive skin, or you just don't like to have anything on you while you're sleeping, you don't want something wet on you when you get out of the shower in the pool, go ahead and try this out. And for my gift to you, if you want to try this out, remember I said you gotta, you gotta order these in sheets, right? Well, they don't come like this. They come like this. So I've got more than I could ever freaking need. If you would like a sheet of these, <laughs> I don't know, uh, hit me up, write to me. I'll, I'll just throw these in envelopes or something. We'll figure it out for the price of a stamp or something. I don't need all this crap. 
I'm going to harvest some little snaps from just a few of these sheets, and that's going to do it for me. So the next time I have to wear some sort of wristband or some who knows what, hopefully it'll be an easier time for me. So that was a little simple one for you, not one of my main videos. But if you're interested in tamper stuff, maybe you go to the Tamper Evident Village, DEF CON this summer, coming up. In the meantime, wherever you go, whatever you do, don't try to fool people on the COVID rules. We're not trying to fake vaccine status bullshit. We're just trying to be able to get a good night's sleep and have a nice smooth arm in the, uh, in the evening plans that you may have with someone else, you know, in your arms with you. Okay? Have a good time. Stay safe out there.